guys. So our workout for today, I'm going to have the description on the, the little tab below. So just go ahead and look at it, read through it. Uh, I'll put all the rep schemes on there if you're on Facebook. I'm going to post a picture of my whiteboard that I have the ro workout wrote out on. So then you can just look at the picture and figure out the rep scheme from there. Uh, so I'm just going to go over the workouts and then just make sure you read the description. So our first exercise is a called a supine getup. So we're going to go ahead and lie down on the ground. Just like so, nice and flat. Without using your hands, I'm going to put my hands on my chest and I'm just going to try to sit up and get up from this. So my get up, I'm going to take my leg, sit up. If you have a hard time sitting up, you can use your hands, kind of come to the side. But I just want to really focus on just getting up from the floor. So I'm going to use my leg, roll into it, use my other foot, roll, just like this. I'm going to swing my leg around just like I'm getting into a lunge, and then I'm going to stand up. And then from there, do the same thing. I'm going to come down into the lunge, swing my leg, kind of coming down. I'm swinging. Let's see if you can see it a little bit better. There you go. I'm swinging my leg down, sitting, and then I'm going to lay right back down. So that would be one rep. Up, come up, swing, swing my leg around, brace, dig that foot into the back of the ground, or dig your uh, toe into the ground, squeeze your glutes, and then come up. So that would be number two. You can alternate sides with this movement if you would like, so you don't have to do the same side each time. But uh, however you want to get it done, and however... Easy, whatever easiest way for you to track it, that's fine too. So the whole idea is to not use your hands. If you have to use your hands, use them. I'm not going to make you not to, but you can come up, you can roll up, you can use one hand up, come up, set, get set, get into the lunge, stand up. And then we come back down, you can use your hand, bring this leg through, how I'm shooting it through, Sit my butt down, and then I roll all the way back down, just like so. So that is a supine get up. The next movement that you would be doing is a plank with an arm extension. So when we get into a plank, you can get, uh, you can use your knees as well. Get on your knees if you'd like. If you don't want to do a full plank, so I'm gonna come here, clasp my hands. Remember, I have my other knee supporting. I'm gonna get my other leg set. We brought that to brace. Make sure my uh, my shoulders and elbows are lined up. I'm gonna have a nice flat back. I don't want my butt up too high or too low. Coming out, squeezing, and then with that leg, that arm extension, use my hand to brace and then I step. I'm gonna hold as long as I can. Hold, hold, hold. This is pretty challenging. If you can, only do just a little bit lower, or you can bring it out to the side if you feel like that's easier. Come back in, reset, get the other one. Hold, 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 bring it up to the side, bring it low. If you feel like it's pretty hard on your elbow to do that, you can also do it on regular plane. Here, make sure your wrists are stacked, and then we just bring the arm out. Hold, hold, hold. You can extend at the top as well. I'm going to bring it back down. Again, squeeze the glutes, quick breath out the brace, you extend the arm at the side. This one you would do about 30 seconds each side. If you feel like extending the arm is way too hard, you can extend one of the legs up, just lift off one of the legs as well, and hold. I'll go ahead and demo that here, and you just hold. So we hold, 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 so your hips aren't dipping, we're squeezing the glutes still, we're keeping nice and even. Make sure those hands are underneath the shoulders, we're just holding, and then you would switch sides. Hold, hold, hold for 30 seconds, and bring it back down. The next one we're doing is called a transverse lunge. So this one, it's kind of weird with your feet. So I'm going to show you. It's a little bit different type of lunge. It's a good lunge for prepping and strengthening your fascial tissue. And it helps with a certain range of motions that your body's not usually into. So what I do, one foot's going to be in front. One foot's going to be slightly staggering the back. My feet are going to be nice and straight on. So one's in the front, one's in the back. And I'm going to lunge towards this leg. So I'm going to hinge back. My arms going to be out, clasped in the middle. And I'm going to lunge back. I'm going to sit back into it. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can rotate towards that leg here. And then come back and come up. So that's one. Again, feet are nice and straight on. 
pushing my butt back, sitting back into it, rotating through, rotating towards that other side, sitting back into it, rotating, that's two. So let's switch sides, and I'll do a side view as well for you. See if you can see my feet a little bit better. So feet are nice and straight on. Here, hands, hinge back, sit and sit and sit and keep those feet nice and straight on, and then I rotate the side, come back, and come up. Let's get a side view of this guy. There we go. Good. Okay. Here's my side view. One leg is staggered in the front. The one that I'm lunging or, or more like a lunge hinge to is the back leg. So the leg is in the front. So I'm staggered the leg in the front. And then I'm going to push my hips back into that socket. Make sure that foot's nice and straight on. And I'm actually driving my knees out here, sitting, and then I'm rotating, coming up, coming back. This one's a little bit easier if you don't have shoes on for this one because then you can really grip the floor as well. So the next and last movement for this circuit is the hollow holds, and you'll be doing this one for 30 seconds. So we come down to the ground, we're lying down, I'm going to bring my hands up, actually push my hands up, I'm going to bring my feet about, I would say, an inch off the ground, and I want to think about bracing, so my cage is coming in, and I'm kind of according everything in, so I keep it nice and stable, you want that hollow hold, and we're just going to hold. And I'm going to make sure I have that space or an apple in between my neck, and I'm bringing my shoulders off the ground so you can see a little better. So this is my starting position. Quick breath out, and I'm just lifting. Hollow hold, and I'm just going to hold for as long as I can. The max effort is 30 seconds. If you can hold it for 30 seconds, you're a freaking champ. Hold, hold, hold. Space in between the neck. Here. Hold, and then rest. Just like so. So we're just holding. We are coordinating. Everything's up and in, and we're squeeze, 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 and keeping that tension throughout that whole movement. So you would do those movements at a 6, 8, 10 rep scheme that would be counting up. So the supine get-ups would be 6 reps for the first round. The transverse lunges would be 6 reps for the first round. But then the planks and the hollow holds would stay the same throughout the whole circuit. So you go a 6, 8, 10 count reps up. And then you would take one, two minutes of rest, then you would get into the next circuit. So the next circuit is a 10, 8, 6. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that now. So the first movement is called prone eyes, wise, T's, and W's, and O's. So that seems like a freaking mouthful. It is, but it's a really good movement for getting all those muscles in your back and your shoulders developed. And this is really good if you, you sit at a computer desk for a really long time. And it's really simple, but it's really effective. So we're going to come down on the ground. You can. There's two ways to do this. You can get up into a Superman position by working your core like this, bringing your legs up, or you can bring your legs down. I'm going to do it with the legs down just for, uh, for teaching's sake. So I'm going to come here, bring my nose to the ground, just like so. And I'm going to mimic just like those uh, I's, Y's, T's, W's, and O's with my arms. So I'm going to try to get into the best position I can. Sorry, guys. Here. <laughs> Coming up, my nose is pinned. I'm going to go eyes. I'm squeezing my shoulders, keeping my, my shoulders away from my ears. So I'm keeping my back and lifting. Eyes, bringing it in. Y's, lifting, squeezing my shoulder blades together. T's, lifting, squeezing my shoulder blades together. And then W is comes up, and I'm contra protracting. So protracting, squeezing, keeping my nose to the ground. And then the O's is I wrap it around, and I just touch my hands in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like, what it would be on the ground up in there. So I go eyes, Y's, T's, W, and then O. Oh. So that would be the full movement. That would be one rep. You're going to do 10 of these. Take it easy on these. If these get really tough, only do, I would say, up to five at first. If you feel like your shoulders are just screaming, you don't need to do away with these ones. These are tough enough, okay? So the next movement is a side plank. So we're going to do our 30 second side plank. Get set up. You can do it stacked from the knees, or you can do it 
or yeah, you had your feet stacked. So I'm gonna do both and show you. So from my knees, I wanna make sure I'm in a nice straight line. I bring my hips forward and make sure my shoulders, my elbows are nice and stacked. So this is my starting position. Taking my hand, place it on the side to kind of create that straight line. Quick breath out to brace. Bring my belly button to spine. Focus on that diaphragm, really contracting and squeezing everything up and in, and then I bring my hips off the ground and just holding. I want to make sure I have a nice straight line too. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my hand and place on my other shoulder to make sure I have my nice straight line. So I'm just going to hold, hold, hold for 30 seconds. If you want to make it a little bit harder, take the bottom foot, take the top and the back, and we're going to stack. So we're going to stack, bring it up, keeping it stacked, bring that hip towards the ceiling, and we're just squeezing. You're going to take your hand and place it on your other shoulder just for knowing where you're at, and we're going to open up here, and then if you need to check, that would be your nice and straight line, just like that, all the way through, we're holding for 30 seconds, come down, and then you would switch, and do the other side, so the next one is called half kneeling hay bales, balers. you get into a half kneeling position, and all you're doing, if you do have weight, you may do a weight, weighted movement with this, but you're just gonna reach, reach, and come up. That's one. Reach down, and come up. That's two. Reach down, and come up. That's three. Reach down, to the fingertips, and rotate and twist. Come up four. Reach down, and five. You might not think that's gonna do a lot, but it actually works your core pretty good. If you have, let's say, a weighted ball, or like even just like a light three to five pound dumbbell, this is six pounds, you can mimic this. One, one, just like this. Bring it across and up, two, down, and three. Front view here, just like so. Come around and across my knee, four, down, and across, that's five. So we would do on each side, eight on each side, and then six on each side for those ones. Um, the next movement is our core movement. We're doing a mountain climber for 60 seconds total. You don't have to do it for 60 seconds, it's just a 60 second challenge, so it's for a minute. So if you haven't done a mountain climber before, I'm going to go ahead and demo this for you. You can do it up on your couch cushions if you need to, or an elevated surface to make it a little bit easier, but I'm going to go ahead and do it on the ground. So, it's just like getting into a plank position, just like so. I'm going to make sure my wrists are stacking my uh, shoulders and make sure my hips aren't dipping down too far or up too far. So I just want to be nice and centered, just like a table, just like so. Sweep my glutes and I'm going to drive my hands in towards the center. One, two, three. You can touch the toes if you'd like, kind of keep you on center. Four, five. Or you can do runners if you want it to be a, a little bit more of a cardio movement. If you want more control, just tap those toes. One, one, two, and then you would just do those for 30 seconds. Keep your core nice and tight. If you feel like this movement's way too hard, I want you to do dead bugs instead. We go ahead and get on the ground, brace our core, everything up and in. Take our uh, hands or palms, place them on our knees. We're going to have tension throughout that whole movement, so I'm fighting my knees with my hands, just like if somebody is pushing me at you or pushing them away. And I'm going to extend. One, two, three. Grip with out. Without touching the floor, bring it back in. I'm going to alternate hands. One, two, three. Keep dorsiflexion with those feet. That means your toes are up towards the ceiling, just like you're pushing somebody away. And we want to keep that neutral spine, so we don't want, when we're doing this movement, we don't want our back to flatten on the floor completely, you want that neutral spine. If you have a hard time with that, take a, uh, take a towel and roll it up a little bit and put it in your lower back to maintain that neutral spine. So after we do our mountain climbers, AKA or dead bugs, we get to our last movement and they're called landline, or sorry, windmills. So what you do is you get your feet set up, one's facing forward, Let's see if I can here we go, get the best view that I can. This one's a little different. So one foot's facing forward, the other one's facing this side, so I'm like an L. So I'm going to take one hand and have it open. I'm going to be facing forward, I'm going to take one hand and face at the top. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and reach 
both ways and follow my finger. Reach, reach, reach. I'm going to keep that hand open. Open, I'm going to follow my uh, eyes to my thumb, and then I'm going to come back up. That's one. Come back down, hinge you back. Reach the tips to the floor. That's two. If you have a hard time with this one, just go as far as you can. If this is as far as you can go, that's totally fine. And then come back up. So you would do 10, eight, six totals of those on one side, and then we'd go ahead and do it to the other side. So I get my stance set up. One leg is facing forward. The other one's facing to the other side, just like an L. Keeping my hand nice and open like this. I'm reaching up at the top, following my eyes to my finger, rotating, hinging back, keeping my core nice and tight. And pushing those hips back in the socket, and then coming back up. Again, rotating all the way through. Nice flat back, keeping my core nice and tight, and I'm almost pushing against that, the gravity with my core. So I want you to really think about, it's all that hip hinging, and we're stabilizing. I want you to squeeze, just like if it was an abdominal, because this does work your core. So after you get through that, you do a 10, 8, 6, and go through it all over again. If you guys need extra rest in between all of these, definitely take it. Um, if you have any questions on any of the movements, just go ahead and text me or message me on here. I can definitely help you out with it. But um, I would say this, both rounds will probably take you maybe 25 minutes. Uh, it just also depends on like, if you wanna just do a six, eight round and a 10, eight round on each of the circuits too, you don't have to do the full three. Um, just break it up if you need to and modify it as you go. Uh, so after, I would definitely do a cool down, do some stretching. I have some cool down um, mobility exercises for thoracic spine and stretching. And you can also use that warm up uh, workout, the first part of it, for your cool down as well. Okay? Well, have fun. Enjoy it.